and it is my favorite season. I am so excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I cannot stop smiling. I am so happy. It's time to decorate. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are right in the middle of uh, making over the apartment for fall and it is my favorite season. I am so excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I've just had to wait to get through some projects but we are finally here. If you didn't watch the last vlog, I spent uh, a couple days doing some fall shopping really hunting down stuff that's gonna help me create that mood and that atmosphere of fall. And it was a task. I was on the hunt for a while, but I feel really good about all of the stuff I have. And it's finally time to start putting it all together and see this whole holiday fall makeover take shape. Uh, we have a couple projects we have to do. I'm on my way to the fabric store right now because I wanna pick up some material for a couple more of the throw pillows. I bought a couple throw pillows if you saw the vlog, um, but I also bought some new inserts, some bigger inserts that I want to um, create some uh, covers for. And that's a really easy way to change up your decor without having to take up a bunch of space because the actual fabric covers take up like no space whatsoever. So we're gonna make a couple new um, pillow covers for those throws and then we get to put this all together and decorate. It is fall. I know I live in Southern California, so it's still, I have the roof off my car. It is still, like 80 something degrees so if you don't make fall in your apartment you're not getting fall so i'm gonna make fall in my apartment anyway we're on our way to the fabric store let's go okay we here i need to take a picture of the pillow Guys, that was the first time ever shopping at Mood that I just could not find what I was looking for. Not that I was looking for a specific thing, but just nothing was drawing my attention. I got that one burgundy fabric because one, obviously burgundy is a big inspiration for this whole uh, seasonal makeover that I'm going for. And it had a lot of texture to it. And I think I wanna build up the different patterns and textures and I could just not find any patterns that I liked for pillows. So I'm actually gonna go over to FNS Fabrics, which I've never been to. I've heard so much about and I still have never been to. I was like, you know what? It's only 15 minutes away and they are specifically like a home fabric store. Uh, so hopefully I have better luck there. <laughs> so that was a bit overwhelming. They have so much stuff. Great, great selection. Unfortunately, I just, I think because I don't have a set idea in my mind, I was just looking for something that really inspired me and I was just not finding it. Um, especially because I think I was looking a lot in the um, 
green category, um, which I still want to bring in the greens. It has to be a very specific, like a dark olive that I'm looking for. I, and I just was not finding it, especially because I didn't want to do another <laughs> solid because I got that red, which isn't really solid. I, don't, I mean, it has a little bit more texture to it, but it's not necessarily a solid, but I wanted to do something with like a stripe or a tighter um, plaid rather than the other um, pillow that I got. And I just was not finding anything that really inspired me. And I think because I was really set on the green thing, um, I kind of just brought in my horizons and I looked at that pillow I got, but if I could find something that was orange, but like the burnt orange. So it's like really kind of like a brownish orange. Um, and I found one that I liked. It is a solid, but it has a lot of texture and it feels amazing. I have two fabrics that I like that I can start there and I need to order um, bigger inserts anyway, cause I, I hate the um, small pillows that I've had that that came with the couch. I think they're just a little too small. They wanted to upgrade to those bigger ones anyway. So I will just get a couple of covers also to fill, but I think I only need maybe like one or two other covers because I think the rest, I, I think I'll have plenty else. Anyway, that's fine. We'll get those, get those shipped in and uh, decorate this place. Okay, so I am so ready to finally start actually decorating now that I have all of this stuff. I do have to get those pillow covers together first, which is a really easy task, and I think I'm only going to need four of them. So I'll do two of the burnt orangey color and then two of that red color, and I think that'll be plenty because I have other pillows that I'm using as well. So I'm going to get those together really quickly. I spent some time. I finally, finally, finally bought a steamer for the couch because it definitely needed it, and I figured if I'm doing this whole like makeover with throws and pillows for the couch, it's time to clean this thing, and unfortunately with the dog, I, when I first got the couch, she wasn't allowed on, and that only lasted for so long, which is why I usually have blankets covering it. And it usually, and you know, it has protected the couch for the most part. But I need to get another bottle of the fluid stuff, the cl actual cleaner stuff, because I think I need to go again because I went through that thing really, really fast. But it's really exciting to have a clean couch, and I'm really excited for this whole makeover. So let's get these pillows together, and we can finally see this thing start coming to life. These pillow covers are one of the easiest things to sew. It's just three pieces of fabric, a front and two back pieces. The front piece will be an inch wider and longer than your final dimensions, and the two back pieces will be the same width, but won't be as long because they'll overlap in the back. On both of your back pieces, you're gonna fold under an inch on one of the long sides just to create a hem. Stitch both of the hems in place on both of your back pieces. And now you're just gonna combine your front and your two back pieces together with the two back pieces overlapping each other. This fabric doesn't really have a right and wrong side, but if you do have a fabric like that, make sure you have the right side of the fabric facing in. And now you're just gonna go ahead and sew about a half an inch from the edge all the way around the edge of the pillow, pivoting at the corners. And once I've finished stitching all the way around, I just cut up all the excess fabric on the edge of the pillow, being really careful not to cut through any of that stitching that you just did. Turn the pillow right side out and stuff it with your pillow insert. Seriously, each of these pillow covers took about 15 minutes to make, and it's such a cheap and easy way to switch up your decor seasonally and not have to store something big for the rest of the year. Huzzah! Today is the day I cleared out basically everything except for the furniture in this living room and the dining room. It's time to decorate. I 
ended up getting these leather pillow covers from Amazon. I'll link them below, but they ended up tying in perfectly with the chairs by the window as well as with the aesthetic for fall. I love them so much. I already know I'm gonna get comments being like, how are you gonna use your couch when you have that many pillows? <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I actually, if I'm like sitting watching TV, I actually sit on the floor most of the time, but it's just me and Scout mostly here. If I have guests, I can move them, but like, there's one spot for Scout, there's one spot for me. Done, that's all I need. This coffee table is the perfect example of the puzzle that is decorating a room. Finding the perfect layout with all these pieces takes time and patience, but it's so fun. As I said in the previous video, when it comes to buying faux florals, I tend to go with a color scheme and just buy lots of different textures and not necessarily plan my arrangements out in advance. So this part ends up being really fun because I get to just play and try different arrangements and see what works and what doesn't. I find the hardest part when arranging flowers is learning when to say stop because you could just keep adding stuff and it could get more and more chaotic, but learning when to say it's right and you don't need anything else is probably the hardest part.
happy fall, guys. I cannot stop smiling. I am so happy with how this makeover turned out. You know, you have all these ideas in your head and you're when you're searching for decor for so long and just kind of grabbing odds and ends, you hope everything comes together. And when it finally does, when you figure out all of the little puzzle pieces, it just feels so satisfying and it, I, I love this time of year. I love it so much. It feels so cozy in here right now. I, I, I just want it to be like 50 degrees outside and I want to put like flannel pajamas on and make a couple of apple cider and eat some pumpkin bread. It feels so good in here. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeover as much as I enjoyed doing it. It's not the end. I have more fall stuff coming right around the corner. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so now so you don't miss any of it. Come on this journey with us. I'll see you guys on the next one. Happy fall, guys. Bye.